Hey, what's going on guys? I'm standing outside the fight kin right here. I'm going to be doing one fight kin. I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully I won't die and fuck up. And I'm taking an hour's worth of both loads. Just because um, I hopefully won't need more than that in the EOC fight kin. really, really easy. And you should check up a guide. If you want me to make a guide, then be sure to put it in the comments. It will take a while because it is, there is quite a lot of stuff to explain. But I just use steel tie and red nips and go fuck shit up. That's what I'm going to do now. And hopefully I'll be back with an onyx. So I did successfully complete that kiln guys and I'm here with my uncle Onyx. I'm going to quickly sell it and add it to the tab. Please sell. Oh, it doesn't sell for mid. As usual, I remember once when Furies were like, and Onyx on 6 were like 16 mil before the fire kiln came out and now they're like 3. Oh shit, it's not selling. Quickly sell this thing for really low. Fuck it. Oh my god, it's not selling for 2.4. Holy shit. Yeah. One nine 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 eight. Come on, sold for two point four five mil. That's gonna go straight into the drops tab. Hey, what's going on, guys? And I haven't been in in a while, so I decided to go do some DKs. And I'm wearing the first skill cape that I did get in this game. That attack skill cape. I think I still think this is one of my favorite skill capes. I mean, red and gold just looks fucking majestic and pro. So I wanna give a big shout out to who the guy that helped me and where's his name gone. It is Julian ZD in Monka Zunky's French chat. And yeah, just shout out to him. But otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to get in here. That's one thing that I really don't like about DKs. But let's get to some killing and hopefully get like a ton of hatchets. That is very, 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 very nice. So I need to do that intro again. That is very, very nice. Nice dragon hatchet after 11 kills, which is. Oh my god, it's amazing. I'm so happy. And I've got a lot of this trip left to do, so let's hope I can get some more. Let me just quickly do this and then I'll save this clip. Well, that's kind of sad. I did just get an archer's ring right there, but it didn't glow, so obviously it's under 1 mil. Let's hope it's like 990k, because that would be nice. I really hope it's not under 900k, otherwise I will cry. But got a nice archer's ring and it's going straight to the bank after 62 kills. So here guys you can see the recording of me getting a Zerka ring but unfortunately this is not live commentary because at the time I was a bit busy talking to someone. So yeah this is just a recording of me getting a Zerka ring which is pretty nice which is going straight into the bank. Hey what's going on guys here is the loot that I did get from that 2 hours of DKs I managed to get 154 kills in total and I got 2 rings being the Archer and the Zerka. They're both under 1 mil though because they never glowed. 2 water tally drops adding up 232 water tallies and 1 dragon hatchet which is the only drop that did have that glow. So we will see how much that total was 9 mil in 2 hours so that's about 4.5 mil per hour. And I just I want to say that I got any trip with the hatchet by the way is decent. But I could have got like 3 hatchets. Oh my god I'll just bring 350k what the fuck is that. Oh my god. Supposedly some person who had like loads, like 10k archer rings got hacked and the person who hacked him started selling them for like 10k each which is why they've gone down. So I'd fuck my life, they're just like a third of the price that they normally were but I'm going to go and quickly sell it and then show you how much I got from selling it all and then show you the tab after I've put the money from this into the tab. And here is a clip of me selling all the loot that I got from DKs. And as you will see in the end of this clip, I didn't manage to sell the Archer's Ring because of that mass influx that came in with that person or whatever happened. I don't even know if it was a glitch or whatever. But yeah, Archer Rings aren't selling for really, really cheap right now. I swear you could buy them for at one point for like 10k each. But as you can see, the total amount of money that I did get is 8.6 mil as well as an Archer's Ring, which is going straight into the tab, which you will see me doing right now or within a couple of seconds because this is not this is actually pre-recorded i'm gonna add all that shit to the tab which takes the cash back up to 184 million hey what's going on guys and in my inventory you can see the loot that i did get from many many hours of doing glacos and the last time i showed you glacos i had around 65 shards but now in my inventory you can see i do have 100 and I have the loot from 65 to 100 shards so what i'm going to be doing is making an armadillo battle stuff right now Adopt battle staff, that's pretty nice. I've got an armadillo battle staff now. I'm gonna price check all the loot. Let me quickly take out the money. I did get more than this, but it's in the bank, and I can't be bothered looking through all the videos to find out how much coins exactly I got. The staff is 10.2, and the rest of it is around 
seven mil, I'd say two point seven one seven mil. If you want to be really precise, trying to do some mental arithmetic there. So what I'm going to be doing now is selling it and then showing you how much it sold for, and then adding that to the price tab as usual. So as you can see guys the total sold for 13.034 million so what I'm going to be doing is adding that to the price tab and then oh shit I forgot fucking hell I'm such a spastic sorry uh, I forgot to tell the dragon maces that's going to add 114k so that's still 13 mil and it's 184 mil without this if you add in it goes to 197 almost for almost a like 200 mil and full vertex right now is about 205 so i'm getting really really close hopefully if i go and carry on doing some zami and finish up my task there i will definitely have enough so that's most likely what you'll see me be doing next hey what's going on guys as you can see i'm here outside the zamorak room and i'm gonna try and get this layer task at least a little bit more done got two hours worth of overloads and two auras which each last for an hour so that makes sense also the appropriate number of pack yaks got one extra just in case so let's just hope i can get some drops if i do i'll be sure to record Ooh, there's a nice beam of light and i managed to get a hood of subjugation after 98 kc zamrak's going pretty well to be honest with the vampirism aura i'm just tearing shit up and there's a nice grass from derek or a beast or a beast but let's quickly pick that up and then i'll price check it after i've killed this little piece of shit Um, there we go send a nice message to him back he grasped me man I fucking gotta send a good message and i just swore for no apparent reason Okay, quickly, regen. Let's see how much this is. This is worth 1.5. It's pretty nice. Only problem I'm having really at Zamorak is my familiar thing keeps running out when I'm like killing it super fast because I'm hopping. Just because the respawn time is just not really that nice. So I just hop between worlds. Because hopping right now is really, really quick with the update that they did ages ago. So I'm going to do that now and I'll be right back if I do get anything else. And here's a nice troll, about 125, not about exactly 125kc into this trip. I got a dragon helm, which is obviously not the best. Every time you get analogic orbs, I swear down, it's like a troll drop from the red drop table. It's like a loop half for a dragon dagger. But I'm actually going to bank that, just fuck it. Might as well, it's like 10k or whatever the fuck it is nowadays. I have no idea what it is. But I'm going to pick that up and then bank it. And the anagogic ought trolls continue. This time I get a dragon dagger, which is just general, worldwide, universal troll from the universal rare drop table. So, yeah, I don't know how many of those I've got in the series. Probably at least like 10, which is kind of bullshit. But right now, I'm probably going to have to leave before my prayer renewals run out. Because with vampirism, killing him is like piss easy. Don't use any food. Um, but with the. Uh, Penance, you use quite a bit of food. And with vampirism, you can survive off prayer pots, but with this, I mean, you use like two or three foods per kill if you're unlucky, which is what's happening to me right now. So these food drops are really helping, but I might have to leave early. I just hope I can finish my task while I'm here. And that is another 36 more kills. Let's go beast mode. Okay, Jackets, what the fuck is this? I just got an anagogic ort, and my phone's going fucked up. But who cares? I'm going to carry on. I just got an anagogic ort drop. An infernal ashes which is all as a drop from zamrak and the key token nothing else since when are key tokens just like drops on their own i mean seriously what the hell is this i better get something good from that bloody treasure hunter thing or whatever the fuck you want to call it so i'm gonna pick it up and i'm gonna use it and i'm gonna swear profusely because what the hell i mean why is it a drop on its own Fuck it. Is this, like... Is Jackie's being serious right now? I mean, literally, the last clip that you saw was the last kill, as you can tell from the kill count. Another fucking dragon dagger. What the fuck? 
Hey, what's going on, guys? So I did manage to finish off that trip at Zamorak, and I finished my Slayer assignment. And here is all the loot that I did get. I did actually get a War Priest of Zamorak Helm, but I didn't record it just because why the fuck would I record that? 400k in there. That's from one trip. I think I didn't remember how much I got from the previous trips to Zamorak, and altogether I made a total of six mil from that. So I'm going to be doing that as recording me selling it and then adding it to the tab.